Welcome to Learning Time. I'm glad that you're with us today. Are you glad to be here also? Yeah! We've got an experiment that could be a little bit messy. Is that all right? Yeah! I thought you would agree. I've got three special helpers, and I've got Gracie right here. Gracie, where are you from? Georgia. Georgia, thanks for being here today. And we have Stephen way over there. Stephen, where are you from? Texas. Texas, thanks for coming, too, and being part of our audience. And we have Andrew way back there. Andrew, where are you from? Georgia. Georgia. Hey, why don't you all three come up here, and let's see if we can uh, do something with this stuff in this. What is that stuff? What does it look like? Goo. It looks like goo. That's right. What I want you to do is I want you to run right through it. Now, they're barefooted, and so it won't hurt them, I don't think. And so we want you to put your right foot right through it. Just kind of run right through, and your right foot's going to go over there. And let's see if you get goo on there. Go ahead. Just step right in there. Oh, oh, no, nope, she didn't get all gooed up. And right step in there. Cool. And there we go. Another one again. Hey, let's try it one more time. Go ahead. Gracie's going to go through again. And there goes Stephen right here. And hey, let's do something else to or, or with Andrew. Okay. Come on over here, Andrew. That's that. Why don't you stop right there? We're going to have Andrew just put his foot kind of gently into the goo stuff. Are you ready? Go ahead, put your foot in there. And just kind of just kind of relax. Put put some weight on it. Yeah, put some weight on your foot. Hey, what's happening? His toes are disappearing, aren't they? Yeah, look at that. And it's sinking down in there. Are you going to be all right? Oh, okay. I hope you don't drown. You know what we have in here? We have a very special stuff. It's made of cornstarch and water. And we call it, uh, it's a non-Newtonian fluid. Sometimes it acts like a liquid, and sometimes it acts like a solid. If you hit it real hard, it's like a solid. Can if you, you just put firm pressure on it, you'll sink down in. That's interesting. Hey, why don't, here, I'll help you. Why don't you pull your foot out of here, Andrew? Careful, slowly, slowly, up, up, oh, 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 oh yeah. Look at Andrew's foot. Oh, yuck, Andrew. Isn't that awful? That, that is awful, isn't it? Why don't you, okay, let's sit down. And Andrew, can you just scoot down? Can you sit down right there where you're at? Because you, you don't want to walk around. You're going to get, oh, oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, Andrew, that's a mess, isn't it? You know, that reminds me of something kind of interesting. You know, we have uh, some miracles in the Bible. You remember the miracle about someone that walked on the water. Who was that? <laughs> it was, who was it? Uh, there's two people, right? Jesus walked on the water, and Peter saw Jesus, and Peter said, Hey, you know, can I come out too? And Peter stepped on the water, and it supported him, and he walked right out to Jesus, didn't he? But you know what? Somehow, Peter got his eyes off of Jesus. He was starting to think maybe about something else, and looking back, and what happened to Peter? He starts sinking down, didn't he? That's interesting. You know, that's what will happen always if we take our eyes off of Jesus. We'll start sinking. We will lose our Christian experience maybe. Isn't that interesting? This is very interesting stuff. And it, sometimes you can make it. You can make it right in your kitchen. And it's called oobleck. And it's just made out of cornstarch and water. And if I just put it in my hand, it just turns into that liquid. And it drips out. And it's a mess, isn't it? But sometimes if you hit it real hard with your hand, look at that. It's like a solid, and it just supports your hand. And if you just put your hands in there lightly, it will get it all messed up. Hey, remember, boys and girls, when we learn more about science, we learn more about our Creator God.